Welcome back. You dreamed of you take it out. Anyway, we're back on the river. It is falling. So you know I like the long line, so I'm out here. I'm gonna try a little long line and it's about two foot high and I want it to. Might be a little early, but I'm checking it anyway. Miss Paula said she wanted some black and crappie, so I'm gonna keep about six or seven of them and blacken them up and show y'all how we do it. So stay tuned. Here we go. There's a crop. Crop it right there. All right, we found seven. They're in 17 foot of water. I may have to use a 16. It looks like they're up just a little bit. Good experiment. Here's the deal. Always use, get you a pound test line that you like. I use six. I just do. Always use the same test line on all your poles. That way you'll be get familiar with how they run your bait. 30, a 132nd. You come out here and it's flat calm like this. And you see them shad on top, you know, them little ripples. I would use a 132nd because at one mile an hour it's going to go three foot deep which is going to be right under that shad pod. And the crappie's going to be under the shad pod, so my bait's going to be running between the shad and the crappie, which is what you want. A crappie will feed down, but his eyes are kind of set on top of his head. So he's looking up all the time. See, I don't see no ripples, so I'm going to start off with 16th. Maybe some 8th, because a 16th will go 5 foot deep at 1 mile an hour. Also, the, the style of body that you put on your bait, it'll rise or run shallower or run a little deeper, a little bit in there. That's just experimentation. That's whatever brand you use. I like crappie magnets, so I know where my baits are all the time using the same stuff. I'll use uh, different size poles when I'm doing it. I got my racks off the side of the boat instead of the back, so I won't. I like a two foot difference in each pole. I got 10, 12, and 14s. Today, I'm using eight, 10s, and 12s just because I want to, I don't know if they're going to bite. This is a little bit higher. I like it. Magic number 25, rivers at 28 and falling. And we're going to see. i am mark some on here. So let's get some poles out and see if we can catch them. We do have a new bait from Crappie Magnet. How about that? Little boat tail style bait. And boy, has it got some action. This is a lazy way of fishing. You got your easy chair. You got your remote. And you watching your hummingbird TV. Play it all the time. Here we go. We got one. We got one. Not that big. Got him on a dancer. The knee bait. It worked. Healthy pig. Yes, sir. We should have done caught. We caught one fish. I don't think they own this long line in a bit. But we're going to try a little deeper. If I don't do it, I guess I'm going to have to put that forward facing 
sonar on them to get Miss Paula some fish. They must just be in a funky mood. I don't know why. Well, we're long line. We caught little ones, but it's still not quick enough. So if something's going on. I ain't really wanting to chase nothing. So I'm thinking to put this forward-facing sonar on them and see what I see down there. So here we go. I did it, Dad. Black coffee. Up, Curly. That looks like blackened. Ooh, that's a pretty good one. I got him to buy. There you go, black grubby. Mm. Oh, that's a white grubby. That'll help the cows. Is he two pounds? That's the question. Yes. 207. Right for the blackening. Yeah, little pattern going on now. Breast top. They're real authority. You gotta put it right on top of her head. He's just out there by himself. Well. It's a tough day. I tell you, they don't want to eat. So, you know what we're going to do? We're going to go eat. I got four or five in there. Five fish is ten fillet. That's five a piece, camera guy. I like it. <laughs> Let's go black as a fish. Hey. Hey. Oh. All right, we just got back from fishing. And I'm fixing to blacken these crappie we just caught. Didn't catch that many. Uh, we caught, I got brought five home. So Miss Paula was wanting some blackened fish, so we got to save her a couple of pieces. That's old big right there. But anyway, I got a little recipe here that I do myself, my own seasoning. And it consists of pepper, salt, garlic powder, onion powder, paprika, Italian seasoning or accent. We use Duck Commander and Cayenne. And it's real easy to remember. Everything is a tablespoon. Everything, except for your Cayenne. You use a quarter tablespoon. Unless, you know, you like it spicy, you can go ahead and give it a little more. You want it on that head. Don't be scared. Make it stick. We want it to stick. 
We're going to start the fire. Ha ha ha. Got me a stick of butter in there. Getting it hot. Oh. Getting the butter melted. Let's eat. Do you hear the drum roll in your mind? Black and beef. That's it. Mmm. Crappie is the best tasting freshwater fish it is. Isn't that belly meat off at all? But this is the quickest way to do it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll see you next week.